Hello, Global Supply Chainers, and welcome to our first SE2X live event. Here today, we are pleased to have Dr. Eva Ponce with us. So Dr. Eva Ponce is the Executive Director of the MITx MicroMaster in Supply Chain Management. She is also a Research Associate at the MIT Center for Transportation and Logistics. Her current research focus is the design of urban distribution models with a special attention on omni-channel distribution strategies. She also leads uh, research initiatives on reverse logistics and closed loop supply chains. Welcome, welcome, Eva. Thank you so much. Happy okay. to be here. Excellent. So, the agenda for this live event is going to be the following I'm going to start uh, giving some numbers, general information about the current course. And then we'll have a presentation uh, in charge of, of Eva. And she's going to discuss about the MicroMaster program and also some uh, details about, about the, the course. Then uh, we'll have a, a short session about the questions, questions that you might have about the general information of the program and also about the course. Then uh, we'll move to our break breakout session and we'll uh, ask you a couple of questions that you will discuss with your, with your peers. After a, a break, we will uh, go back and start a discussion based on, the, on your response. Okay, so let's get started. And let me give you some uh, details about the, the course. So, so far we have more than 10,000 uh, students enrolled in SC2X. So the median age of our learners is 29 years. And we have a 24% of a percent of, of women in this, in this course. So uh, more than 160 countries are represented in this SC2X run. And the top three are the US with 19%, India with 13%, and Mexico with 4%. So uh, as you uh, might know, the course is structured in uh, 12 weeks. So this is the fourth time that it, we are running SC2X. So for this, the, two, the 12 weeks are divided as, as following. We have eight weeks of content. We have two uh, of weeks, week five and week 11. And we will have uh, two weeks for meter and, and final. But remember that these are time exams. So we will have three uh, live events in total. So this is the first one, the welcome live event. Then we'll have another one in week five, and we will have the last one, the wrap up uh, live event in, in week 11. And for that uh, last live event, we're introducing what we call problem for problems from practice. So in this case, we will try to solve, approach a problem that uh, is gonna be shared with you. And we'll try to uh, come up with different potential solutions to this problem. So if you have an inter interesting problem that you encounter in practice at your job, please let us know and share it with, with us to the email sc2xhelp at MIT. Okay, so Eva, uh, could you give us more information about in general about the program and also about SC2X, what the, the students are expecting to to learn during the next uh, 11 weeks. Sure, thank you so much, Sergio, for inviting me. And it's my pleasure to be here today. And welcome, Global Supply Chainers. Welcome to SE2X, and also welcome to, to the MicroMaster program in supply chain management. You are now part of a huge community of MicroMaster learners. We have more than 200,000 learners from all across the world as part of the MicroMaster program. So we have a student from more than 196 countries. Countries, these are the countries represented in, in our program. I think we are missing not too much countries, to be honest. <laughs> um, from those 200, um, 200,000 learners, 13,000 are verified students. And um, today I'm going to explain you a little bit more about what is a verified student, the benefits to be a verified student, and the reasons why we encourage you to be a verified student. So far we uh, have issued more than 21,000 certificates uh, since we started with, with our first uh, massive open online courses in, course in, in 2014. And we already have our first MicroMaster credential core. We are very proud of this uh, first MicroMaster credential core. And we issued 622 certificates so far. This happened last June 2017. So the big picture. So the MicroMaster. The MicroMaster includes 
five massive open online courses. As you might know now, anyone from anywhere can join these open courses. There are no requirements uh, in terms of uh, academic requirements, in terms of age. Anyone can join to, to these courses. You just need a um, computer and internet connectivity to join these courses. Um, most of you uh, are now halfway, halfway of this program. Uh, I, I, I guess that most of you already completed completed supply chain analytics and supply chain fundamentals now you are uh, about to start already started supply chain design and after supply chain design more is waiting for you <laughs> we are going to have supply chain dynamics and supply chain technology and system and after completing these five courses uh, you need to pass uh, what we call a comprehensive final proctor exam in order to complete the MicroMaster credential. And once you pass these five courses plus the comprehensive final exam, you will earn the MicroMaster credential. To do this, uh, you need to be, uh, as I mentioned before, a verified student. So, in terms of contents, and as I just mentioned, you are now halfway. You are uh, you already completed supply chain analytics, supply chain fundamentals, and now we are going to 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 offer you during these thirteen weeks supply chain design. So the first part of the MicroMaster, the first thir three courses, uh, focus more on the conceptual models. However. Uh, the two last courses, Supply Chain Dynamics and Supply Chain System and Technology, um, deal more with uh, real life, with complexity, um, and with these exogenous, exogenous factors that affect the supply chains. So in SE0x, the main goal here is to, to teach you how to formulate both deterministics and stochastics analytical models. In SE1X is mainly about trade-offs in demand forecasting, inventory management, and transportation planning. And in supply chain design, we are going to focus in the design of the three main flows in a supply chain. These are materials flow, information flow, and finance flow. So this is the main focus of SE2X. And I'm going to go a, a little bit deep in, in, in the contents that we are going to, to review during this course. Um, after completing these three courses, you will move more to the real life. Um, we are going to introduce complexity and exogenous uh, forces that impact supply chains. And in SE4X, we are going to deal with big data. We are going to, to deal with supply chains at big scale, databases, the system, how to, to, <clears throat> to, to design a database management, how to do queries, and also how to implement supply chain systems such as enterprise resource planning system, such as transportation or warehouse management system. So this is the scope and the main goal of SE4X. And at the end, as I mentioned, a final exam. Why? You know, because at the end, we need to, to give you a certificate, a credential, and we need to test your knowledge in supply chain management before giving you this certificate. That's why we always combine this learning experience with kind of assessment experience that we need in order to give you a certificate after the, the, the program. So let's move now to SE2F, Supply Chain Design. This course that you just enrolled, um, let's have a look and, and a deeper dive into the course. So regard, regarding the roadmap, uh, we are going to cover the design of the physical flows, mainly the material flows. We are going to move then to the design of information flows. And, and we are going to, to cover manufacturing, procurement, and distribution. Third, we are going to focus on finan finance and cover the design of the financial flows. And at the end of the course, we are going to give you in week 10 uh, how to design the organization. So these are the main topics we are going to cover in SE2X. 
For the first part, how should materials flow through a supply chain? First, we are going to start with the uh, quantitative model. We are going to explain you how to, to model a transportation, a transshipment problem, how to design a facility location problem, and in general, how to, to, to design network problems. Then you are going to learn how to solve this problem. And finally, um, one of the most important part here is how to make the interpretation of this solution. We are going to, to and finally, we are going to see if this solution makes sense. Um, we need to <clears throat> uh, see, uh, for instance, how many distribution center we propose to locate in a network design. Um, if this makes sense for this specific, uh, specific organization. So this is mainly what we are going to, to cover here. <clears throat> then we are going to move to the information flow. In this part of the course, we are going to start with manufacturing. We are going to, to talk about the bill of material, production planning, and finally, we are going to present distribution resource planning system, MRP and DRP system. We are going to talk also about distribution and distribution strategies, the different distribution channels in the, in, in the, in the network supply chain. Um, uh, we are also going to teach you a little bit about sales and operations planning. And uh, uh, Professor Sheffy will uh, go to introduce go, is going to introduce you about procurement professor sheffy is going to talk about sourcing strategies procurement methods and also optimization based procurement solutions so this is the part that we are going to cover in this course related to suppliers and procurement um as i mentioned before the focus is the flows, the three main flows, the information, the materials, and the finance. So at the end of the course, in the last week, uh, starting in week eight, Sergio, yes, week, week eight week and nine, nine and part of week 10. So week eight, nine, and part of week 10, we are going to talk about finance. The main goal here is to understand how we can translate supply chain concepts and supply chain actions at the end into the language of the chief finance finance officer we are going to talk about balance sheets we are going to talk about cash flows and at the end we are going to review the main finance concept that we are using in supply chains in week 10 the last lesson of week 10 we are going to talk about the designing of the organization how should the supply chain be organized so first, we are going to talk about the organizational structure and different uh, type of uh, organizational structure, centralized versus decentralized um, structures. And at the end, one topic that we consider is very relevant is how to, to measure the performance of the supply chain. So we really want to understand how we can, at the end, quantify the impact of the different decisions we made in the different areas of the company into the performance of the supply chain. How to establish these metrics, how to define, and at the end, how to, to, to understand the different decisions are uh, having an impact in the performance of this supply chain. So this is mainly in terms of contents. In terms of logistics, in terms of the course, we already have more than 10,000 learners. Uh, the enrollment is open until next week. So if you have friends that are interested in supply chain design, why not? Let them know about the course. They still have time to enroll in SC2S. So far, we have about 350 verified students. However, the deadline to become a verified student is going to be open until October the 4th. And I'm going to explain a little bit more how to become a verified student and also the benefits associated, associated to be a verified student. And in terms of the countries, um, Sergio already mentioned that around 20% of our students are currently from USA. 
we have 13% from India, 4% from Mexico, Brazil, Canada. We also have a good bunch of Spaniards around, <laughs> German people, French people, European, uh, Australia. We also have a student from Australia. So uh, yeah, student from almost all over the world. So how do we become a verified student? As you might know now, we have two types of students in our SEX courses. One type of student are audit students. So these uh, students uh, have access for free to uh, most of the material in our courses, have access to the videos, to the practice problem, and to the quick questions. Um, we also have the verified students. So uh, we encourage you to become a verified student if you are interested in earning a certificate with us. If you have any interest in earn a certificate, then that's why we encourage you to become a verified student. To become a verified student uh, is a process, uh, it's a two-step process. First, you need to click on the upgrade green button. Um, this is the part that is related to the payment. The cost uh, to purchase a certificate for this course is $150. I need to mention here that uh, all of the cost for the cost for all of our SEX courses is going to change uh, by January 2018. So by January 2018, all of our courses are going to cost $200, including the CFX. The CFX also is going to have a cost of $200. However, from now till the end of this year, the SEX courses, the cost is $150, but the CFX was much more expensive, was $600. So let's say that the total cost of the MicroMaster is going to be less expensive starting in January 2018. However, each course is going to cost $200. So just to, to let you know that this is something that is going to change uh, at the beginning of 2018. So the first step, the first step is click on the green button, upgrade the, the status to be a verified, and then you need to select the payment method. PayPal or um, a credit or debit, uh, visa or, or credit card. So this is the first step. Once you complete this step, I really encourage you to, the, to do the second step right away. The second step is about ID verification. And it's a step that you need also to complete in order to be a verified student. There are two things, payment plus ID verification. ID verification, you need to provide a webcam picture plus um, ID card that include your full name, your last name, plus uh, a picture. And should be an official ID card. It can be a passport, a driver license, uh, any ID identification. Um, official ID identification. There is a video that can help you uh, to, to go through this process. Um, if you have any issue during the verification process, you should contact directly with edX support. Uh, the, um, the email account is info at edx.org or you can also press the, help, uh, the, the button that you have on the left side or, or, or of the, in the platform that is the, the help support button and contact directly with edX. Okay, so I have one question about the ID verification. Sure. So in this case, the students that enroll in a new SEX course, do they have to ID verify again? Okay, so they, once you ID verify yourself, this is going to, to be uh, up to date for one year. So the ID verification will, uh, will, uh, yeah, will, will uh, be for one year. So if you recently ID verify yourself, you will be yes. I already ID verified. However, take into consideration that you need to be ID verified uh, during the course and very, very important at the end of the course. Once we are going to close the course and issue the certificates, it's mandatory that you meet the three requirements. Be verified, um, pass the course with more than 60% of dates, 
and and be ID verified. So you need to be ID verified sure. at the very end of the course in order to uh, that we can send you the the certificate. The, the certificate. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. So which are the benefits to be a verified student? First, uh, to to earn a, a certificate in supply chain design in this course, you need to pass the course and you need also to be a verified student. Second, if you want to be part of the MicroMaster credential and earn the MicroMaster credential, it's mandatory to be a verified student in the five courses plus the CFX, the final exam. In addition to that, uh, we provide some extra services for verified students. In addition to the, as I mentioned before, the videos, the practice program, and the quick questions are for anyone. Doesn't matter if you are audit, doesn't matter if you are verified. This is access to anyone to, that, who are enrolled in the course. However, the live events, except for this first live event, is something, is an extra service that we only offer for verified students. And also we have a section in the, in the platform that is called MicroMaster Supplemental Material. So this section is only offered for verified students. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, the live events uh, schedule so far is the second one will happen in week five. This is the week uh, of October 11, and we are going to discuss here the omnichannel distribution strategies. Uh, we will uh, give you an article, a, a recent article. Um, we want you to prepare some questions and discuss in the breakout um, sessions uh, during the event. And the last event is the problems from practice. So here, uh, we, we really encourage you to send us a real example, a real problem that you have, and a problem that is related with the contents that we are uh, reviewing during this That's course. Important. Um, we are, we will be very happy from, we are going, I, I guess we're going to receive some, some proposals. We will review that and we will try to discuss with you during this live event, um, the winner proposal, <laughs> the winner practice problem. Okay, what else? Live events. This is one of the live events. Um, after this brief presentation and answer the, the general questions that you may have for this, uh, we will move to the breakout session in order to discuss one of the of the relevant topics today in supply chain. So we are going to have our first uh, your first opportunity in this course to join the breakout session, to to see your peers, to be seen by your peers, and discuss in a kind of real environment the 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 the, the, the topic that we are going to propose in, in a few minutes to you. Um, another uh, benefit is. Most of our learners are doing this MicroMaster credential because they, they really want to, 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 to have this uh, career development, individual professional career development, um, at the end apply for a job in supply chain management. This is uh, something that we know that most of our learners are, are, are using this credential in order to do that. Uh, we have also a, a, a some students, some learners that are uh, doing this MicroMaster credential because this is also a way to have access to a um, MIT master degree in supply chain management. So uh, after completing the five courses plus the, the final exam and earn the, the MicroMaster credential, you can apply to an MIT master degree. This is a program that we call the blended program um, it's a five-month residential program. That means that, um, on average, our students spend uh, 18 months in completing the MicroMaster. Once they complete the MicroMaster, they apply to the, to the blended program. If they get admitted, they are admitted in this program, then they need to spend just one full semester at MIT in order to earn this uh, master degree at MIT. And in addition to MIT, there are other universities across the world that are also offering a master's degrees, degree programs that uh, use the MicroMaster as a, as a path to earn some credits before uh, joining the, the program. So it's also a way to earn a master's degree. 
So let me just add uh, Eva that the, the first cohort of HCX students for the blended program are coming the next January 2018. So we have already 40 students that, are, that were already admitted to this to this program. That's going to be our first cohort. Yeah, that's right. Um, some of you uh, ask questions about is it a competitive program? Is it very competitive? The answer is yes. We receive around 200 applications and only uh, 40, uh, 43 exactly were, were admitted in the program. So, yes, it's very competitive. However, uh, uh, the, 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 um, yeah, the, the, the level of the applicants that we have received is, is really, really uh, outstanding. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be competitive, but yeah, uh, some of you are going to, to, to have this opportunity. So it's something also to, to consider. Um, that's all from my side about the general presentation, the micro master program, and SC2X in particular. So I will be happy to answer any general questions that you you have related to this part. Um, and yeah, and after that we will move to the breakout session. Okay, it seems to be that we don't have a question so so far. Mm -hmm. So uh, why don't we introduce the the breakout session? The breakout topic. Sure. And we can maybe, if we have some questions, we can uh, answer at the end of the of the of the day. Let's do that definitely. So for the breakout session today, um, this is the topic that we 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 pick for you. So we we I, I want to share with you some some figures, some statistics. In the United States, online sales are growing fifteen percent a year against just 1.5 percent for overall retail sales so mm, last year online sales accounted for 7.3 percent of total retail sales so the question is that uh, e-commerce is growing uh, one of the the reasons behind th there are many reasons but i believe that one of the main reasons is the 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 introduction of the of the smartphones after Apple announced the first uh, the first smartphone in in 2007, uh, definitely the the customer behavior has changed, um, and we can see now uh, ourselves. I, I see myself, and uh, we can see many of the customers that are buying that that are looking for a product, searching for a product, comparing products and buying products from almost anywhere. Because with these mobile devices, at the end, you, you, you have access to online retailers, you have access to online products, compare different products uh, you can do from your, from your desk, from your house, from, from the park, from wherever. Yeah. And uh, definitely, you have the opportunity also to buy from anywhere. And at the end, this is something that is, um, is uh, having an impact in supply chain. So what we want to do is to think about uh, the impact of the growth of e-commerce in the, in the supply chains, mainly in four specific areas that are, at the end, the four areas that we are covering in SC2X. So we want you to think about how do you think the growth of e-commerce are impact, impacting network design are uh, having an impact in procurement in distribution strategies and also in the supply chain finance so this is what we want you to discuss so from now please go to the breakout session discuss with your peers about the impact of e-commerce and how this is changing the paradigm of the supply chain in these four main areas um uh, let's uh, let's do this in 15 minutes. Okay. And after this 15 minutes, Sergio and I, we will be both very happy to discuss with you your thoughts about this uh, topic. Um, and yeah, and answer your your questions. Excellent. Thank you, Eva. So uh, we'll be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> 